Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of a conch piercing. For those of you that don't know what a conch piercing is, it is a piercing through the squishy inner part of your ear. So if I just show you, this is the conch piercing itself. Ignore this one, this is a helix. We just do that. Um, this is the conch piercing itself. The um, actual conch is this kind of squishy part of the ear here, and the piercing itself goes right through the middle and out the back, right there. So um, there's loads and loads of pros to this piercing. I love this piercing. It's why I want, it's one of the first videos that I've done because I can talk about it all day long. Um, well, I probably can talk about it all day long. I could just talk about it a lot to you guys. Um, so I just really like it. There's loads of pros. There's not many cons, but. If you are a person, um, say for example, who's working or goes to school, this is definitely the video for you because some of the cons might be something that you want to consider. Okay, so the first pro about the conch piercing is the fact that it is really, 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 really pretty. At least in my opinion, I think it's really nice. Um, it's a very feminine piercing. Um, you can change it from a barbell to a hoop. It's very, very versatile. And I generally just think it's really nice. Um, it's one of those piercings that I've noticed for quite a long time, both as a barbell and as a, as a hoop itself. Um, and it's something that I've always really wanted because I've really liked the appearance of it. Another pro is the fact that I found it really painless to get. Um, this is my personal opinion. I think with a piercing like this, there's a lot of kind of mixed um, feelings about how painful it is. I personally found it to be pretty painless. It was very, very quick. It didn't even bleed really or anything like that. I give it about a two out of 10. It was very, very easy to get. And I think the reason for that is, is because it is quite a squishy um, layer of cartilage and it's only one layer. Whereas when you pierce your snug or your rook or your dace, um, they are just more, um, I wanna say more hard. Is that a word? Harder, harder. Um, they are harder layers of cartilage and there's more of them, like, like more layers. So I think they're more painful, whereas the conch is just one. And it's nice and straightforward for the PSA to actually get as well. So I think that's why if you find a good PSA, it's generally gonna be quite an easy piercing to get. Another pro is the fact that I find it very, very nice to sleep on. I remember even the first night I could actually um, kind of sleep on that side, it wasn't that bad. And I think the reason for that is because it's quite tucked in your ear. It's not like the helix, which is constantly being pressed like that. The conch is just more tucked in your ear, so it just makes it a lot more pleasurable to sleep with. That sounds really weird. Um, it's just nicer to sleep with the piercing even when it's freshly done. Um, and it's not too painful throughout the whole course, which is great in terms of healing. Healing itself was also great. It healed, um, it does take a long time to heal. I'll go into that in a second, but once it's healed, it's healed. And I don't remember ever getting aggravated or irritated or anything like that. Whereas stuff like helixes and belly buttons and tongues and, and everything, more oral piercings, they can become more irritated um, depending on what you do. Whereas the conch was just very straightforward to heal. Another thing that's great about the conch piercing is that it's also really easy to clean. I always use a salt water solution so I use some salt with some hot water let it cool and then I use a cotton wool bud just to clean it I've always done that with all of my piercings I find it is the best way personally you find your way but I would always recommend that way first um, very easy to clean literally just front and back twice a day and I did that for about three months um, and then kind of just make sure it's generally clean as an ear <laughs> itself um, and then another thing is that I didn't really found it, it like catches on anything whereas sometimes your helix piercing or like if you wear hoops in your ears or belly button piercings they can be quite easy to catch and irritate with my conch piercing I don't think I've ever ever caught it on anything which is great so yeah, it's a very safe piercing. It doesn't get caught on anything very easily. Um, and again, sleeping with it is very, very straightforward. Doesn't hurt very much. Very pretty, very versatile, all over, amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the cons. Um, now I couldn't really think of many cons, certainly for myself. I wouldn't say, in my experience, a belly is any, but I work in a place where I can have piercings um, and I don't have to worry about school or anything like that. So if you are one of those people, this is definitely more for you. One of the biggest cons about the conch piercing is the fact that it is quite visible. Now, obviously you can get the flesh colored by a plex uh, piercings as in like the actual jewelry itself. But I even think then it is still quite obvious because it is in that part of the ear. 
Now I don't have to worry about that, so I have a great big hoop. Obviously that's gonna be much more obvious. Um, and I, again, don't have to worry, so it doesn't really apply to me. But if you are someone who likes to wear jewelry like that, or wants to have the original barbell, some pierces only originally use those surgical steel or titanium barbells, so you will have to see them. Um, unless you're allowed your hair down for school or work, then maybe you can hide them. But it's one of those piercings that is quite difficult to hide. So if you're gonna get it, you have to be prepared that people will see it. And including people at work and at school. The second con that I could think of is the fact that when it does fully heal, it does leave a little scar. Now, I was thinking about taking my hoop out to show you guys, but it's a bitch to take out. And I love you guys, but I don't love you that much. You're just gonna have to believe me on this one. There's a tiny hole, obviously, where the conch itself healed. Any good piercer will pierce you with a thicker than normal barbell because that will allow it to heal really well. Um, now when I took that barbell out because I'd left it in for like seven months like it's recommended The hole that's left now is fairly big not like massive But there's a little hole in there that I could see especially when you look a certain light you can literally look through my ear Now that's not a massive issue to me. I don't care. I probably have piercings all my life It's one of those things. I have tattoos on my skin, so I'm pretty much okay with that But if you're a type of person that doesn't really want Maybe they want to try a piercing, but they're not really sure about the scar that it leaves. Maybe the conch isn't for you because it does leave a little hole where it has remained. And once it's healed as well, it's like the tragus I find is the same. Like once it's healed, it's healed. The difference with tragus is that it's quite a small hole with the conch is much bigger. So just be in mind of that. The third thing is that the actual healing period itself is one of the longer ones out of all the piercings in your ear. Um, like things like helix and obviously lobes, things like that, they're healed within six to eight weeks. When you go more into the thicker cartilage like rook and dace and conch, they can take up to six months. Now I would recommend with any of those thicker ones to actually leave them in, like do not change your jewellery and keep cleaning it as much as you possibly can for the whole six months because it means you're going to have a much happier time with the healing process itself. It does take a really long time to heal. I had to wait about seven months before I changed it to the hoop. Sorry if you can hear Ruby drinking, by the way. That's not some random person lapping up water. It is my dog. Um, when um, I left it in for that seven months, it has healed beautifully. But I had, did not change the jewellery for seven months. And I could not wait to get the hoop in because I just think this is so pretty. Um, some people would agree. Some people prefer the barbells. And that's absolutely fine. But I did have to kind of have this quite boring barbell in my ear for about seven months. So just keep that in mind. It's not a massive issue. Just have a long healing period, however. I, and the final thing, the final con about having a conch piercing is that it can be a little bit fiddly to change. So when I had to do mine, um, I did kind of get scared of dropping it and um, worrying about the hole and stuff like that. But um, it wasn't awful, but it can be a little bit fiddly to change like any piercing really in the ear other than like the lobe. Um, but just keep that in mind. You might need some assistance when you come to change it. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up. I'll be posting more content about other piercings that I have and also pets, tattoos, that kind of thing. Any questions or any advice tips from you guys and you've had a conch piercing, please pop it in below because I find it's really useful for other people who are looking to get the piercing itself. Have a really great day guys and I will see you later. Bye.